Oxygen came into news so much only after we witnessed an acute crisis of medical oxygen. But where and why this oxygen is used is pretty interesting. Around us, we have 21% of oxygen in the atmosphere. Still, we are sometimes not aware about the uses that oxygen has. Since we have been focusing on medical sector nowadays, the first use that we would discuss is about medical. So medical oxygen is life-saving. Medical oxygen is used in numerous cases. For example, if the blood oxygen level goes down, as we have seen with COVID-19 patients, the next is the case of carbon monoxide toxicity. In case of carbon monoxide toxicity, it is an urgent requirement to give oxygen because carbon monoxide has a strong tendency to bind to heme and create poisoning. The next is in cases of cluster headaches, uh, there is one of the treatment methodologies which is providing medical oxygen. The next is uh, the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Cystic fibrosis are some of the examples where medical oxygen becomes life-saving. Besides this, any procedure done under general anesthesia requires medical oxygen. Also, long-term oxygen requirement is seen with pulmonary patients or patients with respiratory ailments where their oxygen level is chronically low. Now, this oxygen could be used either through home-based oxygen concentrators or through the oxygen which is provided through the cryogenic cylinders. Now, this cylinder has a liquid oxygen which is converted into a gaseous form at the ambient temperature and then administered to the patient. The next utilization of oxygen, the liquid oxygen we have seen is in rockets. In rockets, it is used as a fuel, as a propellant and most of the missiles and rockets nowadays have oxygen as one of the fuels and here we preferably use liquid oxygen because the amount of the oxygen would be relatively higher in contrast to gas because gas would uh, require more uh, volume in contrast to the liquid oxygen form. The next is the use of oxygen in metals, metal industries. Now, as we have discussed in our class on medical oxygen versus industrial oxygen, we have seen that in both the cases, we require a high-grade purity in terms of the amount of oxygen which is present. But uh, with the industrial oxygen, definitely impurities are okay, but that is not the case with medical oxygen or a diver-grade oxygen or an aviation-grade oxygen where the purity levels should be very, very high. Now, this oxygen which is used in the metal industry is mainly used for the purpose of welding, cutting or hardening and it is also associated with chemical refinery process where carbon removal is one of the major concerns. So oxygen would react with carbon forming oxides and those could be removed easily from the surface. Other important way is the oxidation reaction. Since the oxygen has a very good uh, oxidizing properties, what would happen is uh, the oxides would be created and therefore the metals would get brittle and those could be easily removed. Also, uh, there is benefits of fuel and energy saving and also lowering the total emission values uh, which is seen with higher purity oxygen. So here again in metal industry we have high purity oxygen which is uh, obviously used. The next is the chemical and the petrochemical industry. Now in the chemical or the petrochemical industry, we have seen production of alcohol, production of aldehydes, all of those uh, where hydrocarbons react and form uh, either alcohol or aldehydes, we have seen the use of oxygen. Now uh, in the process of creation of let's say ethylene, propylene or uh, PVC, or any other material, synthetic material like nylon, we would require oxygen. So definitely with chemicals, 
petrochemical industry oxygen is used the next industry where oxygen is used commonly is paper industry now you might wonder what is the use in paper industry in the metal industry it's obvious that we are using it for cutting welding in chemical industry we are using it for uh, for the uh, purpose of creating uh, synthetic materials or we are using it for the purpose of creating aldehydes or uh, acetones but what is the use in paper industry in paper industry it is used as an excellent bleaching agent that is whitening agent and and since it has the uh, properties which has oxidizing nature it also enhances the uh, physical uh, properties of purifying the process of uh, paper and improving the cost of paper plants by lowering down the operational cost the next is in any of the manufacturing industries oxygen is utilized for better combustion uh, now what happens is if it is a glass industry if it is a uh, aluminum industry copper industry gold industry all of those industries where uh, there is involvement for manufacturing there would be better combustion there could be remediation process or waste incineration in all of those cases we would require oxygen so oxygen basically uh, promotes better maintenance better productivity in this scenario uh, as we have seen industrial grade oxygen is different from medical grade oxygen but uh, with the crisis with medical oxygen government is now trying to liberate or make the process of licensing for medical oxygen much more smoother so even the companies let's say we have iron and steel company at bukaro or uh, the plant at vishakhapatnam which is producing uh, oxygen mainly for iron and steel but if they uh, the licenses are being liberalized or made easier what would happen they would start the production for medical oxygen as well keeping in mind due to the pandemic the fact is that that industrial slowdown we have lesser consumption of oxygen in let's say auto industries or fast moving consumer durable industries therefore the oxygen surplus could be redirected towards medical purpose the next is the use of oxygen for the purpose of aquaculture now aquaculturalists have been trying to improve the breed and the health of the livestock through a environment which is highly oxygenated so the size and the health of the livestock of the fishes actually improves and therefore aquaculturalists have been widely using oxygen these days as we said for wastewater treatment and waste incineration process as well oxygen is utilized for wastewater treatment uh, the process of chemical uh, the chemical process which is required for the treatment is enhanced and the efficiency is improved with oxygen and therefore is one of the most preferable ways and most environmental friendly ways of using oxygen for this treatment plants so those were some of the common uses of oxygen we would be covering many more interesting lectures stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead